this Tell me how could I miss giving you everything you deserve You know I'll be doing the most while you be back at home I promise baby it could be worse Start off with a clean and moisturized face and we're going to hop in by using a primer. This is a purple primer that will brighten and even out yellow tones and also keep your makeup creasing free. So I love using this primer from Botanic Farm and I also applied the matching cushion foundation on top of that. This is in shade number 23 so it is a bit light for me but um, we're going to blend it all out and add bronzer later so it's not a problem. Then I'm taking my Maybelline concealer and concealing my under eye circles and any blemishes I have. And I'm also taking the concealer and highlighting my nose bridge, my chin, and in between my eyebrows. And be sure to blend the heck out of the concealer so everything is nice and fine and clean so you don't have any like weird concealer lines everywhere. Then I'm taking my setting powder from Innisfree and I'm just applying that under my eyes and anywhere I want to keep matte throughout the whole entire day because I do have oily skin but we will be highlighting later so this is a little bit unnecessary. But I have to say this powder makes your skin look flawless so I love it. Then I'm taking a matte bronzer and I'm basically contouring my face quite heavily. I'm applying this to the hollows of my cheeks, my temples, my upper hairline, and a bit on my chin and on the sides of my nose. And I'm going to be blending this out but for my um, cheeks I'm keeping it quite heavy and defined because I like that slimmer face look for this sultry makeup look for Valentine's Day. I don't know, I like the sculpt to look for this and to achieve that I'm also applying concealer under the contour just to make it more defined and clean. Then I'm taking my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Sauce and Gentle and applying it to the apples of my cheeks to highlight and also on my nose, my forehead, and a bit on my chin just to bring out those features more and it gives a really nice glowy finish and I love it. Um, as for the eyebrows, I'm just combing them out and then filling them in quite thick and bold. I like the super arched and dark look for this and we're also going to be cleaning up with concealer just to define the brows a little bit more. and. I'm doing this kind of brow look because, you know, they look pretty on fleek. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This brow look, mm -mm, it's pretty on fleek, so you guys should definitely try it out. I love it, and this brow duo is definitely one of the most inexpensive ones I've had, and it works great. So, I love it, and um, I'm just cleaning up with the same concealer I used for my blemishes. Then I'm setting this all in with a brow mascara so the hairs don't fly everywhere and become crazy. For our eyes, we need to prime them so nothing slips and falls anywhere. Um, and then we're just going to go with a simple, romantic, smoky eye kind of look. And I'm using a lot of shimmery shades. This one is kind of like a gray charcoal um, with purple undertones. And I'm applying it to my crease and inner eye corner area just to deepen the eye socket a little more. <laughs> Then be sure to blend this all out because we do not want any harsh lines. Then I'm taking a more copper bronze color. Um, it's kind of more on the cooler copper side and I'm applying it over the previous color we applied. And be sure to extend it to the outer half of your lower lash line as well to get the smoky effect. And then I'm going in with a gold color and applying it to the area where we didn't apply color yet. And this will just add more dimension to the eye look. And the gold adds a nice pop of color and it just looks really nice. And I'm applying it to the middle part of my lower lash line as well just to highlight and reflect the upper eyeshadow look on my lower lash line. And I'm just adding a little bit more to shimmer it up a little bit. And then I'm taking my MAC Metal Eye Skin Finish again and apply it to my inner eye corners and also on my brow bone just to highlight everything. Then of course we're going to line our eyes. I'm going with a classic winged eyeliner look but not too dramatic since the eyeshadow is already really dramatic. Um, so I'm just applying this all the way into the inner eye corner but quite thinly.
Then I'm going in with a pencil eyeliner just to tight line my eyes and make my eyelashes look a little bit thicker for the next step, which is mascara, lashes, and everything like that, and just to volumize all these lashes. I'm also going to be applying some demi lashes on my outer half of my lashes just to dramatize them a little bit and add the more flirty look for this eyeshadow because it's quite dramatic. Everything needs to be big and bold and fabulous, like straight up amazing, okay? I'm absolutely insane. Okay, we're gonna stop talking. Then be sure to blend the false lashes with your real lashes with a bit more mascara. Then to top off the look, I'm applying a matte nude lipstick onto my lips. Um, we're not going with any fancy lip look here, we're just going to apply it all over our lips and then I'm taking a lighter shade of nude and applying it to the center just to make the lips look bigger and more luscious. And that is it for this Valentine's Day makeup look. <laughs> So that is today's sultry Valentine's Day makeup look. I will not be wearing this on Valentine's Day because, well, there's I'm going to be in bed watching a bunch of Sehun clips. So, yeah, but if you guys recreate this, be sure to tag me on Instagram or Twitter at TalkAboutLisa, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, beauties!